Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Hordak, the ruthless leader of the evil horde from Masters of the Universe Origins from Mattel. Uh, this is part of the fourth wave of Motu Origins. Very excited for Hordak. He was definitely one of my favorites as a kid and the one I had was very much worse for wear. So very <laughs> excited to get a new version of Hordak here. Looks pretty fantastic here on the retro card. Have the exploding red rocks with a nice blue background. Really, really sharp. Taking a look on the back here, you have some really nice artwork at the top of the card, which I think looks fantastic. Showing off all the other members of the Horde. You got Modulok, Mantena, Leech, Grizzlor, some Horde Troopers. I can't wait. I'm hoping this means that they're all eventually coming, hopefully sooner rather than later. I always loved the Horde. I thought the big bat symbol was always very cool, and uh, just, you know, a lot of the Horde members were really neat. So very excited for them. Hopefully they are coming soon. Uh, here on the back, you can see the other four, or all four of the characters here in Wave 4. He has his crossbow, and then it just shows off his posability. He's also got a cape and like a bat that perches on his arm. We'll take a look at all that. So pretty cool packaging. Love the artwork here on the back. Going to go ahead, get him off the card, and we'll take a closer look. So here he is out of the packaging, and he looks pretty great. Really dark uh, color scheme going on here. You got the dark gray, black, a little bit of red, and then I guess this kind of bone white color for his face. But it's a really kind of menacing color scheme, and I like it a lot. He's got the red cape on the back. I remember with the original toy, it was a much thinner cape. It was made out of almost kind of like a thin vinyl material. Not quite paper, but not much thicker. And uh, as a kid, it didn't last very long. It got ripped off not long into its time with me. So I'm glad that this is made of kind of a more substantial material. It's a nice kind of soft, rubbery plastic that I don't think should be a problem. It does kind of look like it's just glued on here to the back. So we'll see how that stands up over time. Um, but so far, it seems to be perfectly fine. Uh, head sculpt, I think, looks really good. I like the red for the eyes and the teeth. I think that's a really cool choice. It really makes them pop. Got the horde symbol there on the chest, which looks really, really good. Standard articulation, so you have ball joint here for the head. Side to side movement, move up and down, rock side to side, everything's going on there. Got the hinge and rotation in the shoulder there. Hinge and rotation in the elbow. Hinge and rotation in the wrist. Got a waist swivel. Got a ball joint here in the hip, so you can kind of go out to the side. A little bit of front and back, not a ton. You have a hinge and swivel in the knee. You have a boot swivel, and then you have ankle up back and forth, and then you can rock side to side. Unfortunately, on mine, I feel like the boot swivel and the ankle joints are a little loose. You can almost kind of see like how the boot kind of hangs off there. Now, they are meant to pop off. I think it's part of the mix and match nature of the toy line. You can see it's very simple. You just pop it back on, and you can hear it snap back on. But it's just a little loose, which is, it makes standing a little difficult. Not terrible, but just a little difficult. So hopefully if you decide to pick this guy up, yours won't have the same issue as mine. But yeah, his, his ankles and his boots are just a little loose, which is a bit of a bummer. But otherwise, he looks fantastic. He does come with two accessories. So he has this little bat that he, I guess, perches on his, on his forearm. Now, this was another one as a kid that this broke off. So all I had was this piece, so I had no way to attach it. And it's just kind of meant to go on the forearm here and then this piece goes around and feeds through this hole on the back i'm not going to push it all the way through one because you don't really need to and two because i'm afraid it'll get stuck and i'll never be able to get it off but you know that's just kind of loosely demonstrates how that attaches to the forearm there so i'm going to take that off and then he comes with the uh, crossbow which like all of the horde characters came with back in the day and you can see this one's done up in white and it's very simple. It's kind of a fun little mechanism. So you can see there's a tab here and there's a spot there. So you just kind of push it until the tab hits and connects. And then you push down here and then it kind of like, you know, mimics it firing. It doesn't really do much and it certainly doesn't actually project anything. It's just kind of meant to simulate it firing. So it's kind of a neat little gimmick. And this just kind of clips here around the wrist like so. And you can kind of see that it's got the little cut out there so that it kind of, you know, fits up perfectly with the bicep so it's pretty cool i like both of the accessories uh like i said out of the cape and this piece here on my original one they were busted so i was very excited to get new ones here and sometimes when i was a kid i would even break the crossbows but these all seem pretty sturdy and i don't think you should have any trouble with them so i think they will last quite a bit 
So yeah, I really like this a lot. Very excited that we're getting Horde characters this early into the run. Um, you know, the Horde obviously came much later in the production of Masters of the Universe, the original line back in the 80s. So, But I mean, Horde acts a fan favorite character, so I don't think it's that much of a surprise that they're deciding to do him early. I just hope that this leads to more Horde characters. We already have She-Ra, so we have someone for them to fight. So I love it. I love the assortments they've been giving us and... All the characters have been really fun, and I'm just here for more of it. So let me know what you guys think about Hordak in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.